all right, just going to do a video showing that Calvinism is refuted and destroyed by personal accountability for your choices. And this description I'm going to show you is demonstrating personal accountability for choices and how with Calvinism, you, if you deny free will, then you're denying that the fact that basically uh, you're responsible for your own actions. Because if you have no free will, if everything that happens is the will of God, that means you can just put your sins on God. You can say, well, God made me do it because I have no free will. It destroys any kind of personal responsibility for your own actions. But here is an example of, uh, in, in the book of Proverbs, there are examples of men being rebuked for not choosing the fear of God and refusing the instruction of God despite God calling them, which presupposes the ability of alternative choice by free will. Okay, let's turn to Proverbs chapter 1, verse 24 to 31. And this scripture just destroys all of Calvinism. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 24 to 31. Because I have called, and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity, I will mock when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, and when distress and anguish, anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer, they shall seek me early, but they will not, shall not find me, because for that they hated knowledge, and did not choose the fear of the Lord, they would none of my they would none of my counsel, they despised all my reproof, therefore they sorry, therefore they uh where's the verse therefore they shall eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices you see they're being held accountable and i believe this is a foreshadowing of the judgment the the great white throne judgment god called them but guess what they refused it also disproves irresistible grace because they were able to refuse when god called them and notice how he says they'll eat the fruit of their own way they were held responsible for their own actions and i want to point out i'm just not good at reading things on a computer i do apologize but uh, you see there they're being held responsible. They're accountable for their own actions and their rejection and refusal of God's reproof. But if Calvinism was truth, then that means they could say, well, God, you you, des you predestined me, so I, I have no choice. You see, Calvinism destroys the righteous judgment of God. Proverbs chapter 8, I, I want to point this out as well. God calls people to hear his instruction and contends with them that they hear his instruction, which, pre which presupposes they have the ability to choose otherwise. So anyway, Proverbs chapter 8, verse 32 to 36. Here's the scripture I was going to go to. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 32 to 36. It says, Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instruction, and be wise, and refuse it not. Blessed is a man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that standeth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. You see, when they sin against them, they wrong their own soul. They're doing it to themselves. They're bringing the punishment upon themselves. But notice how God is contending with them. He's saying, come on, do it. I want you to do it. You know, hearken them to me. He's trying to, he's trying to contend with them to do that. Why? Because they have the free will ability. It presupposes they have the free will ability to choose otherwise. And God's trying to persuade them against choosing otherwise. But they have that ability. And I wanted to point this out as well. Here's, here are two examples of individuals being held accountable for their sins. David was held accountable for his sins when he committed adultery and murder. That's in 2 Samuel chapter 12, verse 1 to 14. And Aaron and Miriam were also held accountable for their sins. See, Numbers chapter 12, verse 1 to 9. So that's what's going on. You're held accountable for your own actions, but Calvinism destroys personal accountability for your choices. Calvinism is of the devil. Don't be deceived by it. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.